जय श्री राधे टुडे इज डे वन टू वन वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड कंटिन्यूइंग वार्ता नाइन्टी सिक्स द स्टोरी ऑफ रेंडा ब्राह्मण सब वैष्णव को जय श्री कृष्ण जय जय श्री राधे The day after that Sri Gokul Nanji set off from Gokul and traveled through Gujarat to Kapadwanj. Renda told Sri Gokul Nanji everything. Sri Gokul Nanji then came to Renda's home and saw the la- flower garland Renda had received for the Lord in Ramanreti. He put it on his eyes out of love and respect. Renda then implored him, "O oh, Maharaj, please grant me the Brahma sam please grant the Brahma samband initiation to my wife and son." Sri Gokul Nanji did just that. All the other Brahmins who were living in that house also had the inkling through Ram Renda's influence to become his disciples. They requested Renda to put their plea to be accepted by Sri Gokul Nanji. Renda asked him to come with him and all of them approached Sri Gokul Nanji. Renda asked him to bless them all by initiating them. Sri Gokul Nanji initiated them all with the Lord's name after having them bathed first. Sri Gokul Nanji prosa- proceeded to Dwarka and Renda told his wife what he want that he wanted to go to Gokul. She said, "How can I remain alone? I wish to come with you." Renda told her, "Please do not insist on following me. You have a son, and in this way, you, <coughs> our family line, lineage will continue. Serve our Sri Takuji very lovingly and carefully." I am no longer capable of serving him well. I wish to go and stay with Sri Gosai ji. His wife agreed. He gave his Sri Takuji ji into her responsibility, put the flowered flower garland into a small container and gave that also to her telling her to keep that in the saber as well. Serve them all very well. Our son will perpetuate our family. Renda then set off for Gokul taking the gold coin with him. He forgot whether it was day or night, so great was his longing to meet with Sri Gosai ji again. After some days Renda reached Gokul and had the sight of Shigusaiji as he was sitting on the cushions in his bedak. He placed a coconut in front of Shigusaiji and bowed down to him. Shigusaiji was very happy to see him and asked, "Oh Renda, did you get married?" Renda replied that he had and that he had one son. "Please also have this back this cold coin that you put into the palm leaf packet as an embodied soul. If I had become greedy and used that for my own purposes, then my whole righteous path would have been destroyed. Therefore, It was not right for me to keep it," Sri Gosai ji stated. "I know for certain that a true Vaishnava would always avoid using my wealth in any way. I had put that gold coin along with the palm leaf parcel so that when you saw it, you would pine for Gokul. With such divine craving, the soul's devotion for the Lord increases." Renda replied, "O oh, Maharaj, I am but a foolish being. You act purely for our benefit. I have come back, and I fully surrender to you. Please do not send me away anywhere else. Keep me close to your lotus feet." Sri Gosai ji spoke I shall not now send you anywhere else you are elderly now do whatever seva you can manage please partake of mahaprasad from the prasadi kitchen renda supplicated o oh, maharaj you had previously ordered me to cook separately now you are telling me to take mahaprasad from the kitchen why is this sri gosai ji said now your body is not capable as before so instead of cooking yourself you should accept prasad from the kitchen Bhav Prakash here it is taught that for as long as a Vaishnava is capable they should prepare their own offerings taking prasad from the store would be a hindrance to their devotional process when the body is weak it is then appropriate to accept the mahaprasad from the guru's kitchen part 2 continued following shri gosai ji's orders from that day on renda sat in the storeroom and cleaned the grains he also served shri gosai ji and served in the fruit and vegetable department Part three, Sri Gosai ji composed a Sanskrit poem about his Lord Sri Namani Priya ji. In his cradle, one night Chacha Hari Wamps asked Sri Gosai ji to explain it to him. Pada Rag Ramkali. When infant Sri Krishna is resting in his swinging cradle, he removes with his exceedingly lovely glance the pangs of separation that the gopis have been experiencing for a long time and appears as their abode of love. When those gopis who sing your praises see your smiling lotus face with its face with its rows rows of tiny teeth you become the zenith of their aspirations and they live for you alone their eyes are set upon your infant form which can even dispel their deep annoyance in love you are the foundation of all the loving sentiments of these your very own gopikas what to speak of the desire they will have for you when you are a little older 
You try keenly to climb onto these fragile ladies' golden chests with your two lotus feet. You attempt, Lord, again and again to stand on your most delicate feet. Your brow is marked with the tilak of Gorochen. Your face is like a blooming lotus is adorned with various jewels and pearls. Your most resplendent ornament is the nectar of your innocence and moonlight countenance. Mother Yashoda applies a lovely black dot on your forehead to ward off the evil eye. Your eyebrows, as if drawn by lines of black bees, drinking the nectar of your face, resemble the god of love's bow and afford pleasure to your beloveds. Your compassionate speech, deep laughter and natural smiles are filled with blissful nectar and remove all affliction. Says Sri Vittal, please always nourish and cherish me as your own close servant. Sri Gosaiji revealed its inner meaning to him. At that time, only Renda, Chachaji and Sri Gosaiji were present and no one else. When Renda heard this explanation, he fell unconscious, losing awareness of his body. He stayed like that for three days. Sri Gosaiji then came there to him and put some charanamrit into his mouth. Renda came round and Sri Gosaiji asked him what he had experienced. Renda replied, O Maharaj, I were to leave my body right now. If I were to leave my body right now, it would be good. It may not be possible to later find such an appropriate time. Sri Gosaiji said, So be it. Renda bowed low to Sri Gosaiji and gave up his mortal coils. Sri Gosaiji had nothing but praise for Renda. Thus concludes Varta 96, the story of Renda, who was an accomplished Vaishnava and the recipient of Sri Gosaiji's great grace. His story can never be adequately told. Aj and Ho. Continue tomorrow with Varta 97. Sub Vaishnava Kosada or Supreme Jay Shri Krishna. Shiva Lapadish Kijay Sri Gosanji Kijay Jay Jay Shri Radhe.